the last year, we've had a film crew <laughs> uh, <laughs> filming everything that we do. And this is our film. We hope you enjoy it. Currently, um, Steve, one of our volunteers, is, um, is holding a break making class for the rest of our volunteers. Um, we kind of, we, we want really, you know, just, uh, it's like a back to basics um, um, cooking project really, you know, and for us the, the start point is bread. Um, we've been making bread since day one. Steve, one of our volunteers, um, is taking it under his belt now to make bread. He's making it for six months and is um, pretty much um, competent in, in Making um, making our bread for the cafe. So now you know it's his turn now to give back. So he's now mentoring other uh, volunteers in the cafe to to be able to um, to make bread and pass on those skills. Then other people can you know, step up and be mentored. Um, yeah, I came here. I noticed an advert that they did cookery lessons, and I I like cooking myself. And I thought. Master Chef, like I'll come and see, be, get some more tips, and so I came along to a couple of the lessons, and then found out they were looking for some volunteers, and offered my services, and so I, I'm really enjoying it. I've picked up some good tips, and especially the bread making. I'd never touched by bread making until I started here, but I started on the first day. And but then Chris basically let me do it myself. I've been getting improving each day really. We're, in, we're now up to two kilos a day. But our recent um, open day, I did seven kilos in the day. Made seven kilos of bread, all different sizes, which we then were sold on in the market. So I'm Alan and this is the King Standing Food Community Allotment you can see behind you. We've got um, volunteers that come here twice a week. We do full days here. We usually start about 10 in the morning and finish about 2, 3 in the afternoon. Then we go back to the cafe to get some soup. They've been really good, the volunteers. They've started in the spring not really knowing what to do, but they're very keen and enthusiastic. And by the time we got through the summer, they come here now and they do their jobs well. They know what they're doing. They, they they love doing it and they uh, they can plan everything and manage everything themselves and I kind of just hover about now making small talk with them and making sure they're okay and occasionally filling in the first aid forms that's that's really it they're um, a good bunch on an open day we have like a, a farmers market outside um, you know we make some bread and um, any produce that we've got we can sell on the project really you know is, is kind of um, about giving people more knowledge about food on how to make it, how to prepare it, and bread is a starting point really. It is the, literally the bread and butter of our cafe, and people come um, on a regular basis to, to buy it. So that's that's it really. So um, so well done to Steve, you know, who's now um, our bread mentor. So. so at the moment it's autumn, so the allotment officially stopped at the end of October. But we've got a couple of volunteers that were keen to come back and take a more proactive role. So every now and again we're meeting them and we're doing even longer days. We're doing sort of nine till three and we're going for lunch halfway through. So again, a lot of work done, uh, building compost bins, uh, we're building a seating area and we're going to have to, you know, plant a load of new fruit bushes and all that kind of thing. But they're keen to do that now. They want to come back and they know it's going to be cold and wet and they're going to be working really hard, but they don't mind. And some of these people are people in their late 60s and they, they are happy to come along and, and put up with that because they, they want to see it come out well. So it's really nice. The benefits to the service users are, I mean, from their point of view, I think they get to get outdoors and do something 
themselves, uh, you know, with their day. I think that really helps them to, some, in some cases, to learn new skills and learn how to learn new skills, which is a really useful thing in itself. In other cases, it's just because, you know, they were maybe bored at home all the time, they're looking for more things to fill their weeks with, and we're a part of that. You know, we've got volunteers that also do Tai Chi, and volunteers that also go to other allotments, and some that are doing computer courses, but, you know, we're a part of their week, and we're a part of their week that they do seem to look forward to. Even even in the rain, they'll, they'll come in the rain, and, you know, um, they're disappointed if I ring them at nine in the morning when it's absolutely throwing it down and say, oh, you know, not today. And they, they, they do get a little bit irritated with me more, as if I'm being a bit wimpy. So, uh, yeah, they uh, they get a lot from it in terms of, I think, their, their peace of mind and their skill set that they learn when they're here and the activity that they're doing just to fill their, to fill their days, which would otherwise, in some cases, involve sitting around watching TV. And, then, you know, there's, there's only so much of that if you if you can't get a job then um, and a lot of people around here can't it's quite difficult so they're coming here in place of that and hopefully when they are looking for jobs and they are a lot of them actively looking for work um, you know we're a part of that too and we can give them support with that and even provide a reference with it because they, they're coming here and they're working so hard and they're doing so much that um, you know we think they're very employable um, so that's got to help I'm Janice. So I come every Tuesday for cooking at the food, King Standing Food. It's very, very good. Um, we learn a lot, um, make new friends. Um, and if you like cooking, it's brilliant. No, it's very good for the community. I think it's a very good idea, actually. There's a lot of people around here that don't know much about the diet and stuff that they need to eat to keep themselves healthy and fit. I know examples of this, but the food's beautiful. Food here is absolutely gorgeous. You should come down. <laughs> and it's the the activities that they do through the summer, like helping helping to teach you to do your garden and cook you, cook, yeah, cook and grow your vegetables. That's a really good idea as well because at least it's saving your cash and it's putting more back into the community as well because you do it down at the um, allotments with them, which hopefully this year I'm going to try and get down to. We'll see how we go. We've got some wonderful um, some leeks, some carrots, we've got some uh, Chagio beetroot, um, some potatoes, you know, so we've got all those things um, and also celeriac, um, we're going to do a celeriac soup, so that's um, the, the first thing that features on the menu, um, with kale crisps, so we've got some kale we dug up yesterday um, from the allotment just down the road um, and we've dried that out and, and made it into crisps. Um, then we're doing a comfy duck leg with crushed potatoes, potatoes from the allotment, um, crispy leeks, leeks from the allotment, um, red cabbage um, donated by Felicia, um, and a cherry sauce. For dessert, pear and almond type pistachio cream, maximum flavour, you know, flavour is first and then um, the ease of service. So all these things can be produced um, relatively quickly. Um, by himself um, and, and another person. Um, so that's why we've chosen the menu we have today.
Ruth Birmingham and the Senior Responsible Officer on the King Stanley Food Community. And tonight is our VIP night where all of the key people from King Standing are coming together to enjoy one of our posh food evenings. Um, so the idea is to really raise the profile of our project here and what we're doing and to really raise the profile of our fantastic volunteers who've come to help us for the evening as well. So fingers crossed, everybody will enjoy the food and go out and expound the wonders of our project to the greater community. food night here at the King Standing Food Community. We're hoping that you enjoy tonight's food very much. Everyone's been very busy cooking all day. Our volunteers have been working like Trojans, as they do every time they're here. Enjoy the food, enjoy the company, and we hope that you'll tell everybody else that you've come across how lovely we are. Mm. Please enjoy your meal. for the Urgenton constituency. Um, I work very closely with APRIC in actually um, developing this project and applying for the funding. Um, and tonight was a little surreal for me because I've actually seen it come to life. And um, I've seen firsthand how it's changed lives, really changed lives. People in there that weren't so confident or, or perhaps didn't get out much were a little bit vulnerable. Um, you know, have actually done a grand job. The food was exquisite. But more than anything, it's just been absolutely wonderful to see in action. Hi, uh, I'm Reverend Neil Robinson. Uh, I've just taken over the Nets Church in Perry Common. Uh, invited down to the, this wonderful night uh, of food. And uh, it's great to have Simpsons quality food in such a relaxed atmosphere, sort of great uh, prices, uh, you've got to come in. It's fabulous. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> My name is Peter Kane and I'm a local councillor here in King Standing. And I've been invited here tonight and it's been a fantastic event. It's the first time I've been to one of these such events. It's been a fantastic evening. The food was exquisite. The company wasn't bad either. So I really don't know what more I can say except that I'll be looking forward to the next time. Today we're having some kind of open day on the allotment. We're going to have some people through the doors to show them the place because we've found that it's been kind of uh, hard for people to find and, and uh, people are reluctant to make their first visit. So we've tried to make a big event of it. Um, they're going to come on the allotment. We've got a container grown workshop. We've got um, Felicia's compost masterclass always goes down a storm. There's free food. Uh, there's free soup and people are just going to mill about and do stuff and chat and learn a little bit about gardening if they want. That's the plan. It may not go according to plan, obviously. I planted these back in August last year. They're called purple sprout, broccoli. They're about two inches high from the plot land. <laughs> and in a couple of weeks they should be producing some sprite broccoli ready to be picked up and eaten.
So plant out in May. Okay. And if it gets starts to grow too tall before then just put a little stick in it okay. to keep it sticking over. Mom, can I put it on this one? <laughs> and in the spring we won an award. Congratulations on your success. Giving you that award was a pleasure for me. And what it does is tell me there's people out there helping other people out. And that's what it's all about. Please keep up the good work. Maybe lots of other people from elsewhere do not know what you're doing, but I do. And I congratulate you that you, some of you are all prepared not only to learn, but pass on your newly found skills onto other people. And that's what it's about. And tell other people, because somewhere across the other side of the city of Birmingham, maybe somebody else would come over and say, what did you do? And we start up another section of our community, helping each other. And that's what life's all about now, helping each other. The days when we could just ignore each other is gone, thankfully. Help each other and we all get a better understanding. But once again, congratulations to all of you in King Standing. It's an award you've won, an award that's also well deserved, and that's the most important. Thank you, and it's thanks for giving me the chance to join you in your celebration. Thank you very much. And there it is. Woo! In the summer we went to Erdington Festival. And to Conquer Island. Roasted tomatoes on a slice, a slice or two of the squash, a touch of cheese. Close a bit. Wednesday. I've done a few cooking workshops over the past few months with KFC. Um, they're very good experiences. They teach you to cook healthy foods and nice foods like pizza while like being healthy. So for me, it's fantastic for any young person to get involved with. It teaches them about healthy lifestyles, healthy eating, which is all great in the long run. Right, so do any of you actually want to do this? 
I'm Claire Marshall, I'm from Active Arts Castle Vale and we've been working with KFC to put arts activities on in the cafe. I really love working with them because they really understand how to work with people which is what we're interested in. They create an environment that is friendly and welcoming. You can try something, you can say not today, it's just really relaxed atmosphere. Um, and the people are fantastic and the fact that the people mostly live locally, that are all volunteering, it's a really warm environment to be part of. I love KFC because it gave me the confidence to get an interest in cooking again and make lots of new friends when things were pretty bad for me. Okay, so we're here at Erdington uh, Festival and we've been serving up a vegetable curry today. It's been, you know, grown by ourselves and members of our project um, and our friends. Um, it's gone down an absolute storm. Um, we've been given a bit of veg away, some, uh, some veg bags, grow your own salad at home bags. And it's been a great day, you know, the sun's shining. Um, there's some crazy people um, next to us as well with snow machines and snowmen. Um, but yeah, so you know, the whole idea really um, was to come along, uh, really showcase the projects, the vegetables, because now you know we're getting produce from the allotments and the gardens. Um, to spread the word, and yeah, it's been a really, really good day so far. This is Billy Matt, ladies and gentlemen. Connect him out, come on, come have a dance to the reggae. Here we go. Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm doing green woodwork today. So I'm starting with a log either a windblown tree or wood that's been left to rot and then I'll turn it into things 
splitting it, axing, draw knifing on this thing called the shaving horse. And then I'll progress on to the lathe, which if you're patient, you'll see. the blacksmith and I'm from Forest School Birmingham. Yeah. Um, we do some blacksmith stuff um, with the young people of uh, Erdington. KFC is about the community. You can ask anyone. Community. 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 Community.